Yo, what is up, guys? It's Zero here, and um, back finally after what is it, a year? Uh, I've been so busy lately, and uh, I don't know if you guys noticed my last text post. My YouTube channel was actually hacked. I ended up getting it recovered. Um, took down a live stream that had like eighty thousand viewers on it out of nowhere. Uh, they were doing uh, an Ethereum promotional thing i don't know what what the deal was with that if they're trying to scam people out of ethereum but yeah I, I don't know what what the deal was with that um got my channel back finally um i plan on uploading videos to this channel i'm not sure if it's going to be entirely mmo content or what uh, i've been playing new world as you can see um i don't know i don't know the the if i'm going to make mmo news and stuff on this channel i might i might start doing that again um weekly recaps and like first looks and stuff but i think i'm going to be starting another channel um which i already announced it was which was mmo loot i've been working on that for quite a while and i got a um another creator who is uh joining me with that endeavor so we might be doing that as well. I'm also developing a video game. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it because there's a lot of work to be done. And I don't really want to announce something so early. But um, that is taking up a huge chunk of my time. That and I'm also still in university. Um, I still work a full-time job. And I have a son. So <sighs> my plate's pretty full at the moment. Um trying to balance all this um it's rather hard luckily though i have help when it comes to creating this content um and it, not not this video or anything on my personal channel but with mmo loot um i'll have help with that and then uh for the development aspect of this video game that we're working on i say we because there's actually a small team that we're all working on and uh it's it's quite a big undertaking I think we're all clinically insane for <laughs> for going through with it, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and just uh, jump into the world here. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily a first look at New World. Um, I don't know. I like I I've already played the game a little bit, so I guess we can just talk about my my impressions of it so far. Um, it's actually quite fun it's uh, they, they do a lot of things right but i'm um, also noticing that it's lacking in certain areas too um i haven't reached level cap yet but uh let's head out of here i actually need to get some wood let me make sure my settings are all right uh don't want to be talking in the chat here uh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll turn that all the way down. Get rid of all that just to make sure. Okay, so, um, I kind of noticed that I put my, yeah, let's fix that. Okay. I put my, uh, eh, no, not that. <laughs> I put my webcam in the wrong spot. Um, not that it matters much. I'm not going to be able to block the entirety of chat, but, uh, da, 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 da. there we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. That's much better. All right. Um, but anyways, uh, like I said, I like the, uh, the progression system in this game for, uh, 
your professions, not necessarily um, leveling. Like that seems a bit, uh, a bit to be a bit too much. The leveling in this game is. Uh, well, I I mean I guess let me let me rephrase that because like the leveling's fine in this game getting XP and like leveling up, but the issue is uh, progression when it comes to getting gear and weapons. I don't like that, and I also don't understand why your overall gear score is also tied to the tools that you use, like the tool I'm using right now. So because I have such low gear score on my tools, um, see like 210, and then the rest of my gear is like 345, 316, like all above 300, it drops my gear score down to 271. So uh, from my understanding, it's tied to the tools that we use so that means I have to keep crafting tools in order to uh, bring my gear score up. Um, to me, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I don't understand why that would be a thing. Um, whoa, what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, I've been to this area before. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really see that being a, a necessary addition. <sighs> Man, it's been a while since I was able to like sit down and and uh, record a video, but uh. Yeah, so far I really I really do like some of the things New World does and um it, it it's uh I would say it's nothing groundbreaking and uh I was a little bit disappointed to the scope of it, I guess, and some of the the directions that they have taken um as far as the cash shop is concerned, I don't really care too much for it. I wish the appearances and stuff like your character looking cool was just tied to gameplay alone and also i kind of wish there was mounts in the game the fact that there isn't and then you have to like run these like far distances um not really a huge fan of it i'm sure some people don't mind it and it, it gets players out in the world longer i guess um but I would I would say like something like ground mounts would be fine. Um, flying mounts obviously would not be. This is uh, something I've been considering a lot um, as of late. Like I said, I've been working on a video game. Um, so I've I've been like comparing different video games and like what they do right and what they do wrong, and kind of uh, like see how. I should take the direction of my game. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, let's let's get back to New World though, and stop going off on tangents. So again, again, the progression system is not terrible. I would say, uh, as far as leveling and getting your gear score up, there's certain things that I dislike about it. Um, the fact that you have to like keep grinding to get a higher gear score. Um, I'm not really too uh, not really too fond of. Now again, the profession profession progression <laughs> profession progression isn't that bad. Um, I I wish I could see. I don't I don't know what the future plans are for the development of this game. Uh, I haven't really been keeping up with it. Uh, like I said, I've been extremely busy, so. This is kind of a novice's point of view, and you know, there's maybe things that I missed that uh, might be useful or might be uh, useful information to include in this video uh, to give people a better idea of like how the game is and how it's going to be with a development roadmap. Like I said, I have no idea about anything really. Oh, you. Um, 
But yeah, I, I don't know a whole lot about, like, what they plan on doing with this game. I'm just going off of what I've played so far. And... I don't know. It's... It's interesting, to say the least. I wish that they would, uh... I wish that they would include mounts, like I said, and I wish that there would be more more of a selection among weapons, because I feel like it's so limited to the amount of weapons you can use. Um, where the hell am I looking for that at? Weapon Mastery, duh. Okay, so, like, these are the only weapons that you get in the game. Like, I would love there to be a two-handed, like, Berserker sword. Um, I would love to two-hand two-handers. Like you could in like World of Warcraft, or even in a uh, um, Elden Ring, so Dark Souls even as well. But I wish that that was a uh, a thing in this game. Um, I never was really a fan of like two-handed maces. That unfortunately, they seem to be the coolest looking weapons in the game, at least in my opinion. Um. I like big weapons, so I would much prefer a Berserker-style sword, like I said, instead of a, uh, a mace. But, that being said, with the options at hand, I, uh, I ended up picking the mace. I also occasionally will use a two-handed axe. Um, I'm not opposed to two-handed axes. They look cool. They, uh, they play, you know, smooth. I like the, the gravity well um, attack. It definitely helps with uh, keeping enemies at where I want them to be. Uh, that being said, I, I again, with the, uh, the whole profession system, I do really like the fact that there is, like, these nodes or, like, of ore just everywhere. And you have to be certain levels to, like, mine them and stuff. And it's not as... And, like, the crafting is not as uh, complex as say world of warcraft um i do like that quite a bit now i don't know if um allowing everybody to craft and do these things um instead of limiting it to some capacity like in world of warcraft you could uh, only do like two different professions or something like that um being able to do all of them i don't know if that's necessarily good for the economy um, I haven't played long enough or even looked into it long enough to see what those kind of effects are on the game. But I would much prefer having a sort of need of, like, trading or really emphasize it. I guess there is quite a bit of trading in this game, but um, it, it feels like professions are less special because of this uh, dynamic, I guess, that they added to the game. So... I don't know. I Some things in this game I really love, and some things is just, like, minor inconveniences. Or, like, no, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say inconveniences, because I guess what I'm for referring to is more of an inconvenience. But it's more of a... Um, uh, how do I want to describe it? I, I guess a better gameplay loop, maybe? Would that be it? It would make these items more valuable, I think, to an extent, if only certain professions can use them. And then you put them on the auction house and gives it gives more demand for these. Now, I guess there is demand for players that don't want to go out and fetch them themselves for any crafting reason. But like I said, if everybody can, can uh, gather these materials, then, you know, it really comes down to, like, what's the point of the professions other than, like, everybody can make their own shit. You don't really have to go to anybody for this these kind of things, you know? Oh, I can't get that yet. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's um, Overall, I think New World's fun, and I, I probably will post another video talking and discussing about it, like the the end game once I get there. Um, currently, I'm only 22 and a half, nearly. So I still got a ways to go, and I do plan on hitting level cap in this game with the limited time that I have. So, yeah, um... Definitely expect another video on New World coming up shortly. Uh, I plan on making more content and covering other games that have come out recently. I, I do want to really get back into MMO content. I know that's something that um, 
people on, that have watched my channel really enjoyed. And that's something that I enjoyed making as well. Um, it, it's kind of weird. Like, whenever I was doing uh, YouTube before, it felt like a gift and a curse. Because, like, I was getting a lot of traction from my MMO content. But I was also f fearing that... I was going to be trapped in making MMO content and I should have, I should have looked at it from a different angle because it's really not that bad. Um, just making MMO content. That's just what people came to me and like subscribed to me for is because I brought that to them. And then obviously since they came for that, they didn't want to see other things. And that makes sense. That makes complete sense. And instead of feeling like I was trapped in doing so, I don't know why it just gave me anxiety and it like, messed with my head but i no longer feel that way and i actually do enjoy mmos um and this is something that i thought might have like changed or would have changed so that's why i started to feel like i was getting trapped but i don't know weird psychology stuff i don't understand it myself uh but i do plan on getting back into videos and um yeah i don't know like a uh, new world pretty good game i'm actually having fun uh, I plan on getting uh, level cap and testing out PvP. That's something I haven't done yet. I know, I know, I know. Slacking. How can I give an opinion on this game when I haven't even tried the PvP? I feel like PvP is a pretty big focus on this game. So, having not done so, I guess that is uh, why I have the gripes that I do about it. Um, now, you, you probably have seen my other video, or maybe you haven't, of... Um, I think it was called The Next Big MMO. And I was talking about this game. Um, this is the game that I was most excited for when it was announced. Um, and still so. To this day, this is the game that I have the most hopes for out of the MMOs that have released recently. Um, there are a few that are on my radar, and I'm, I'm not completely tuned out. I know that I haven't been posting content, like I said, or, you know, um, not seeming like I've been in touch. But I have been watching the landscape and how it's been changing, and... Um, that's that's part of the reason why I'm coming back. There's a, there's a lot of MMOs that were announced recently, and it's uh, um, it's something I want to get back into and cover because like my hopes of finding that next big MMO is uh is something that I've always wanted, and that's what every player really for the MMO community wants. But uh, you know, it might not be healthy to look for the the game that you're gonna sink your life into again, like what World of Warcraft was for many people. Um, it's kind of hard to replace that, you know, when it came out, um, it, it was like, uh, multiplayer was still kind of new. So it was something that was special and it's something that you can't really recreate, um, to an extent. Like if, if WoW came out today, I don't think it would have been as popular without a doubt. I think it was because it revolutionized the way, um, we interact really it was like a social media platform in, in a lot of ways but uh nevertheless new world's pretty pretty good and i plan on i plan on releasing more content on it and i don't know maybe even guides if i get to that point i'm still pretty new myself but i like to help out people so maybe i'll release some guides and i don't know experiment see what kind of builds are best in this game uh, for PvP or for whatever you're trying to accomplish in the game. I might look into that kind of stuff. But uh, for now, it's been zero, and it's good to be back. So, peace out.